INAV 7.1, three and a half weeks. That's all. You will have to wait for the INAV 7.1 first release candidate for the next version of INAV. The plan is that uh, we will be accepting the changes for the INAV 7.1 until the end of January. Today is the 6th, the end of January is the 31st, so 25 days, and we will not accept any new features for the INAV 7.1. And we already have quite a lot of things that we know that will go into 7.1 release. That means in the early February, we will release the first release candidate for the INAV 7.1, which will fix a few interesting issues and will add a few interesting uh, features as well. And then most probably everything will go nicely. The INAV 7.1, also called the Ferocious Falcon, will not be changing names uh, over there, will be released somewhere during March of 2024. This is kind of close, right? We'll not be going into to the exact list of the features that will go there, but there will be quite a few, including the tail seater VTOL support, as well as some improvements of the of the uh, of the of the flight performance in in a few places. What's uh, kind of important is that INAV 7.1 will be compatible with INAV 7 in terms of the configuration. You will not have to retune it. You will be just able to flash INAV 7.1 and restore the configuration from the backup you made earlier. No tuning, no messing with the configuration. It will be just compatible with the previous generation, which should be, should be nice. Most probably the feature I was, I had high hopes that it made it to INAV 7.1 connected with the super fancy navigation will not be there, but you will get uh, a few other interesting things. Uh, no problem.